Power Pack History. I'm Professor Malum, coming to you from Hillsboro, Oregon, just outside of Portland, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to talk a little bit of anti-German sentiment that was going on right around World War I. Now, in 1918, Congress passed the Sedition Act, and the legislation restricted free speech by making it illegal to speak out against the war. The only major group that opposed participation in the war were the American Socialists led by Eugene V. Debs. According to Debs, this is a capitalist war. We Socialists have no interest. Debs was arrested and the Supreme Court upheld his conviction and interestingly enough, he ran for president from jail. Now, many state and vigilante groups also weighed in and were strongly patriotic and as a result were strongly anti-German. So here's some like stuff that seems pretty nonsensical but this was like serious stuff. Liberty Cabbage. Liberty Cabbage was the new name for sauerkraut. In a lot of areas they stopped calling kindergarten kindergarten. German street names were changed. German as a language was banned from being taught in schools. German newspapers were disbanded and or a lot of them had to go underground. In probably the worst case of American patriotism going too far was in St. Louis. You had a German American by the name of Robert Prager and he was accosted by a mob of 300 people. He was then wrapped in an American flag, marched through the streets and then lynched. If, if 300 people are willing to do that, imagine all of the microaggressions that were taking place throughout the country towards German Americans. Now, the Sedition Act was ultimately repealed in 1920, but by then, the damage was done. Anti-foreigner hysteria, as demonstrated by the Red Scare and nativist laws, would become the hallmark of the 1920s. So, in many ways, this hysteria that starts in World War I only continues to get worse throughout the 1920s. This is Professor Mallon. This has been Power Facts, U.S. History. Thank you.